In this video, we want to talk about the roll-up. How do you get the sled up to its edge? So there's three sources of energy that we can draw from to engage the roll-up to bring the sled up to its edge. Number one is gravity. Gravity is free. Let's use it to our advantage whenever we can. Number two is engine power. You've got a high horsepower sled that can do some pretty amazing things, so let's take advantage and learn how to harness that engine power. The third source of energy is human power. We'll save that for another video. We want to learn how to do it the easy way, and so gravity is our friend. Whenever you head down slope, if you turn right, the sled will start to steer to the right and want to tip downhill and it's the force of gravity that's tipping that sled. So at this point, all you have to do is transfer to wrong foot forward, catch the sled as it's handed to you by the force of gravity, then continue through your turn. When this technique is applied properly, the sled will tip towards you and you catch the balance of the sled by steering into the lean. And then you just take it through the turn or do whatever you need to. The second uh, source of energy is engine power. And if you don't have the, the luxury of turning downhill and taking advantage of gravity, then it's just a matter of counter steer and use a blast of throttle. And it's the blast of throttle that will roll the sled to its edge because when the skis are steered out of the turn, the sled wants to roll up on its edge. To feel comfortable using a blast of throttle, a good exercise would be to go to an open field and go to uh, full throttle for an instant and then learn how to control that speed by grabbing the brake. So when I talk about a blast of throttle used to get the sled to roll up to its edge, I'm talking about pin it to the bar. So take the throttle flipper clear to the handlebar grip and it's that blast of throttle that gives you the energy to bring the sled to its edge. Yeah. 